All right, let's see if we can do this. I will keep you safe I will hold your hand I will walk with you to Jordan's doorway I will calm your fears I will keep you warm When you are lonely you won't be alone I'm going to tell you a little story about my mother and the week she died two and a half years ago So she was in the hospital following her open heart surgery. Ernie was 89, and the surgery was a long shot, but it was a risk she chose to take, because my mother was a rebel, much like her daughter. I will keep you safe. I will hold your hand. And as it became clear that her recovery was not going as planned, There was a litany of doctors and nurses and specialists who came into that ICU room, giving us our options, giving us the lowdown on the Hail Mary play we could try to save her. I will walk with you through Jordan's doorway. And all those people came into that tiny hospital room And I can't remember a single face or a name. Not of the palliative care specialist or the priest or of her heart surgeon or of her primary care physician. But I do remember Mark. Mark was my mother's main nurse. He was a sturdy man, someone you could really lean into. He was average height, he had dark hair, he played the guitar, which is how I knew I could trust him. And Mark did what no one else could do. He saw me sitting by my mother's bedside after my family had left to go get some rest. And he sat down next to me and he took my hand and he asked how I was doing and what it was that I needed. And I said I was not doing well, that I needed the truth. I will calm your fears I will keep you warm Mark looked me in the eyes and he said, it's not good. If we can't pull her out of this, you're going to have to make some very difficult decisions. And I took a deep breath and I said thank you. And Mark took me by the hand and he dragged me out of that ICU room and he took me down to the end of the hall where there was a harpist playing for the patients in the ward. And we listened to the music and we laughed. He said, you know, the patients don't really like this because they wake up and they think they've died and they've gone to heaven. And we listened to the music for a little while. And I hugged him and I said, thank you, Mark. He shrugged his whole shoulders he said you needed it and he walked away and he went back to take care of my mother and a few days later Mark was there when we had to turn off the ventilator the work they do is sacred the healthcare workers that are dealing with this virus are doing sacred work too They're caring for our friends and our families when we can't. They're tirelessly doing this, and they're risking their own lives to do this work. My own daughter is studying to be a nurse, and I could not be more proud of her. So to all the doctors and the nurses and the hospital workers who are working till exhaustion through this crisis, thank you. We will remember your names. I will keep you safe, I will keep you warm, I will walk
walk with you to Jordan's door.